Hi guys and welcome to a Nick Sham Media production. My name's Nick and I will be doing the commentary on this video. Um, what you're currently watching is the Xiaomi Mi 4K drone made by the company Xiaomi. It's available on Banggood, Gearbest, AliExpress and all major kind of Chinese wholesale websites. Um, I bought mine from TomTop uh, on offer. Um, I bought it for roughly £370. Uh, it comes with a 4K gimbal. Uh, which is free access. It stabilizes about 2,000 vibrations per second. Uh, it has the ability to pan up and down and also pan slightly to the left and to the right. Uh, the drone itself features collapsible landing gear uh, which makes it very portable. You can take off the propellers and the gimbal simply with a clip. Uh, the drone itself fits very neatly inside a standard laptop bag. Um, now what you're currently viewing is footage over Milton Keynes, that's the cityscape. And um, what you can see is the cathedral, uh, slightly to your left, in front of that kind of red sculpture that you can see on the ground there in the park. Um, the arch building you can see just on the horizon, slightly to the right, um, is the escape building, which is an indoor ski slope and entertainment venue in Milton Keynes. Uh, featuring numerous bars, it has uh, an indoor ski slope, as I've already said, uh, a cinema, uh, it has bowling, uh, numerous bars and restaurants that kind of cater to, to the public. It um, also has very many kind of sports shops that cater kind of for skiing, snowboarding, skateboarding. There's a DC shoe shop in there, uh, numerous other shops as well. Now this footage was shot at 100 frames per second. Uh, the Xiaomi Mi drone is capable of filming in numerous frames per second. Um, you can film from 1080p all the way up to 4K. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the capabilities uh, to edit any 4K footage at present. Um, so I'm kind of limited in kind of what I can kind of film and edit in. Now, what you can see here, the differing light conditions is the exposure. Um, on the actual Xiaomi Mi transmitter itself, it has a toggle wheel to the right-hand side of your controller, which when obviously scrolled certain ways, you can change the exposure settings. Um, so you can obviously change the brightness um, with obviously with effect, kind of the, the lighting conditions that you are experiencing while flying the drone itself. Um, as you can see itself, the, uh, the drone itself is very stable. Um, there's no kind of wobble, there's no jello effect, there's, there's none of that. Now, as I've previously mentioned, you can shoot in numerous frames per second. Uh, the Xiaomi Mi drone is capable of filming at anything from 30 frames per second to 100 frames per second. Um, I find the 100 frames per second is predominantly quite useful when you want to film uh, certain things for, for, for time lapse. Unfortunately, the, uh, the, the, the Mi app that comes uh, on the App Store or the Android Store, which, whichever device you wish to load the app on. Um, unfortunately, the, the, the app itself doesn't have a time lapse function. Um, like many of the DJI products do. Um, but I find you don't really need it. Um, you know, having kind of 100 frames per second filming um, gives you the ability to kind of uh, obviously film footage and then speed it up later if you wish. So the drone itself has numerous functions. Um, on the actual app itself, you have uh, such functions as uh, waypoint, where you can set certain waypoints on the app itself and the drone will obviously fly to those uh, points. Now, while the drone is obviously flying to its waypoint, you have full control of the camera, so you can pan tilt up and down. Uh, you can obviously change the, the altitude to go higher, you can go lower, you can pan to the left, uh, pan to the right. And what you can see here is I'm, I'm panning around uh, just to film kind of a different part of the city. Um, the building you can see to your left there, which looks like it has wood panels on it, um, is the Jury's Inn building, which is a, a hotel in Milton Keynes. Now, what you'll see here is I'll start to slowly climb up to just below maximum altitude. Um, I don't actually know how high this was. I know the drone is capable of uh, 500 meters. Uh, I believe max altitude. I don't know if anyone's gone higher, I'm not 100% sure. Um, and the Xiaomi Mi 4K drone has a RC transmitter range of four kilometers. Now, what you'll see here is I will predominantly function on this little crossroad section just in front of the hotel. 
Um, I'm obviously filming at 100 frames per second, so I did speed this on um, later, kind of for uh, for my own project use, and sped the footage up to obviously look like a time lapse. Hence why the footage is currently overexposed. Um, because I did color grade it and change the exposure settings later in an editing software package. Now, what you'll see here is just me slowly returning to the ground. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you for checking out my video and my small kind of commentary on the Xiaomi Mi 4K drone. Um, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to leave me a like and possibly subscribe to my channel. There'll be plenty more footage featuring the Xiaomi Mi 4K drone. I'll be doing a full in-depth review talking about the actual gimbals functions, uh, the actual camera functions, uh, the drone itself, um, the kind of numerous bags and accessories that are available for the drone. Uh, as well as doing a full in-depth review of the drone itself uh, and showing you all the kind of things you get in the box as well as the charger, the propeller guards and all that kind of stuff. So I'd like to thank you again for checking out this video. You've been watching a video by Nick Shand Media. My name is Nick Shand. Thank you for checking out my video and have a very pleasant and enjoyable day. Thank you. Bye.